All right, they took off to get gas because this is our last day in Tennessee. It's Wednesday, August 15th, I think. Pretty sure it's the 15th. Yep, 15th. I'm sure you noticed the black truck had an empty car trailer. That's because Kenny, the guy who bought this truck, the one I'm leaning on, the one that some of you guys saw on Instagram, he bought another truck, a 65 Ford F100 that is pretty, pretty nice. But that one's not here yet, so I'm gonna show you this one. Some of you guys have already seen this on Instagram or I posted a picture of it on uh, the YouTube community thing. And Kenny bought it. I'm not gonna lie about that, it's not my truck. But when we get back to Michigan, I am gonna work out a deal with him. I am gonna trade him something, whether it's a couple quads or a couple of the motorcycles we've got. I am gonna end up with this truck. I want this truck. Let me show you the truck. It is a 1998 Chevy C3500. Obviously crew cab, obviously dually, obviously dropped. It has a 454 big block, 4L80. I'm sure the rear end is stock. It has a Belltech 46 drop. The thing is in way good shape. Like, there's not a speck of fucking rust on this thing. Now yeah, it's gonna need work. It's gonna need a pretty good amount of work. But here's, here's the thing. Kenny paid 3,500 bucks for it. 3,500 bucks for this fucking thing. I mean, out here, really the only thing it needs is just to be cleaned up in new uh, flares back here, both sides, which brand new ones are like 300 bucks a piece. That's not outrageous. It's super solid. Like I said, there's no rust. The main thing wrong with it is just the interior's pretty gross. There's no headliner. Uh, no headrest, it has different seats, this one's not bolted down all the way. It just has shit wrong with it. There's no radio. Oh, let me show you the steering wheel. Alright, you guys ready for this? I think you guys are gonna love this. BAM! Look at that thing. Now if that doesn't scream 90s, I don't know what does. Aside from maybe the wheels out here. 152,000 miles, the thing runs like a fucking sewing machine, it is great. When we found this, we literally were just out cruising around, stopping at yard sales. We saw this thing off in the weeds. Wasn't for sale at all. We just asked the dude there, like, hey, what's up with the dually over there? And he's like, well, actually, we talked to his wife or daughter or whatever, but we were like, hey, what's up with the dually over there? And she was like, well, nothing. The dude's had it for 12 years, going through some uh, financial problems I'm not going to get into. And uh, he said, yeah, we'd, we'd sell it. And Kenny's the one with the cash, so he's like... Well, I want it. So, 3,500 bucks for this thing. I think it's a fucking steal. Like I said, it is 454, which I'm fine with. And there's really just two problems with it. It doesn't have the radio, and and the other main thing is right there. That is an AC line that goes to the condenser, and he cut it. I don't know why anybody would do that, but he did. So uh, that sucks. Now, the real reason it sucks is, if you see that, we've got a trailer hooked to it. It's because I'm going to be driving this thing from Tennessee back up to Michigan, pulling the enclosed trailer with our bikes in it. Now yeah, it's not the smartest thing to do. We've only put maybe 30 miles on this truck just driving around town, and now we're gonna make a nine or 10 hour trip in it. But hey man, I think it'll be awesome. I think the truck's gonna do fine. I'm hoping that the cruise control works at least. I mean, the AC, I can just roll the windows down and I'll be fine with that. I've had I've had uh, less than stellar vehicles before. I am, I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be a fun drive. Yeah, when they get back, I'll show you guys that 65 F100 that he's also getting. I think you guys will love that truck. That thing's pretty sweet. It's in way better shape than this. And uh, there's some extra goodies getting thrown in with that thing, but. And then I think we're gonna hit the road and uh, try and just bomb back up to Michigan. I think it's like around 700 miles, give or take, six, seven, eight, something like that. Then we should be good. Hopefully I don't die of just sweating my dick off in this thing. Yeah, man, this thing just has the right look. He was actually showing his pictures yesterday. This thing was invited to the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels, and they have pictures of it in front of like a little, like Hot Wheels toy box, so it looks like a little toy car. It's pretty friggin' sweet. But yeah, this thing is just awesome. This reminds me so much 
free screwdriver. This reminds me so much of the 61 unibody I used to have. I mean, that thing was a piece of shit though. This thing's awesome. No glove box. Sick ass radio delete. Man, this thing, this thing is sweet. There's just something about Southern trucks not having a headliner that I don't completely understand. And it comes with a complete Crown Vic K member. Just have to unbolt all this shit, and this bolts on. And you got upgraded disc brakes, uh, dual wishbone suspension, cause, and it's all aluminum. Because this right now is the twin I-beam. If you guys can see that. Here's the engine, it's just a stock 302 out of like an 85 Mustang. Uh, just some minor stuff done to it, new alternator, water pump, things like that. It looks like a new power steering pump. Just a nice old, uh, just a nice old driver. New battery, new ignition, shit like that. all loaded up everything's good to go all we gotta do is just hit the road a little nervous mostly excited I definitely want to get in the wind because this just sitting here and like it, it's 10 30 and it's already like 90 degrees here this fucking sucks but uh yeah time lapse <laughs> Well, we made it to somewhere in Kentucky. We've gone about 200 miles. And uh, so far the truck's doing great. No complaints at all. It's actually getting better mileage than we thought. It threw all those mountains and everything hammering on it. It's getting about nine miles a gallon, pulling a 5,000 pound brick. But uh, so far, super drama free, no complaints at all. I uh, guess we're just gonna keep on hammering. This will be a pretty boring video. This truck's just too dang reliable. 